Jeremy Miller is a former child star who most people will know best thanks to his time on Growing Pains. For most of his life, Jeremy has been plagued with alcoholism. While most would expect this came after the former child performer's fame, it actually started much earlier. Jeremy has recently given up alcohol for good, and he's ready to talk about how his battle with the demon began. Join facts first as Jeremy Miller says his addiction started at age four. From 1985 to 92, Jeremy Miller was known as the child performer playing Ben Seaver on the hit show Growing Pains. Few people who watched the series back in the day likely realized that the actor playing Ben Seaver had some extreme personal problems that were becoming worse behind the scenes. Jeremy used the success that he garnered from his time on Growing Pains to enter a world of debauchery that no child should get the opportunity to experience. Through the money and fame he received from the show, he was able to experiment with alcohol in ways he shouldn't have. According to Jeremy, the first time he drank alcohol was when he was four. He claims his grandparents would hold extravagant parties while he was growing up, and he would still be awake by the time these parties ended. Tasked by his grandparents with helping clean up, he took the opportunity to empty all the scattered cups of alcohol into his mouth. Jeremy says it was his first experience with alcohol, though he would go on to have many more. By the time Growing Pains was over, Jeremy was a full-blown alcoholic. It was many years before he finally got help. The first time he became inebriated was at age 12. By this point, he was already a few years into his tenure on Growing Pains, which he started performing in around age 9. As soon as copious amounts of alcohol started becoming available to the performer, he couldn't find it in himself to exercise control. According to Jeremy, he had no set limits that would keep him from drinking more than he could handle. This continued to be an issue until he finally gave it up for good recently. Alcoholism caused Jeremy to have serious growing pains. By the time Growing Pains ended, Jeremy Miller had found himself a much different person than when it started, and much of his transition into adulthood was inhibited by his alcoholism, which had only worsened. By the time he came of age, he couldn't wake up without needing a drink. As his alcoholism got worse, he began to sink into depression. According to Jeremy, there were times when he considered committing suicide. Thankfully, he didn't have a gun. When Jeremy finally decided to seek out professional help in the 2010s, it wasn't an overnight success story. He let his alcoholism remain out of control for two decades before finally getting help. It was in 2011 that the former child star entered into recovery, and it seems he's doing relatively well for himself today. But there were some major hurdles he had to overcome after making the decision he wanted to give it up for good. According to Jeremy, some of his most embarrassing moments came after deciding to quit drinking. The most embarrassing was a DUI arrest that occurred one night after the actor momentarily relapsed. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Jeremy had a long, hard road towards recovery. Jeremy's now 45 years old and seems to live happily with his wife, Connie. Now that he has successfully recovered from decades of alcoholism, he isn't afraid to talk about the points in his life where he felt he was at rock bottom. Though he's doing well for himself today, there were times when he could barely see through all the darkness surrounding him. He has vague memories of drinking binges when he punched holes in the walls of his home and broke household objects. Jeremy claims there were points at his worst years where he was blacked out every day and night. During these times, he was in constant fear of learning from his wife he had crossed the line during one of his drunken rampages. When Jeremy decided to get help, medical technology had increased to the point where there was now an implant the actor could receive to help quell his cravings for alcohol. Since nothing before had worked, he decided this implant was something worth trying. He claims that receiving it helped him deal with his alcohol cravings more than anything had before, and this was the thing that finally got the former child star on the road to recovery. But sadly, his darkest moment was still yet to come. A few of the many things Jeremy used to try to combat his alcohol cravings was both inpatient and outpatient rehab as well as hypnotherapy. He even turned to herbal tinctures to help make his alcohol cravings go away. But the implant was the first thing that had success. Jeremy realized he needed help after hurting his wife. Jeremy says the incident that finally made him realize he might need professional help came when he and his wife attended a wedding. According to Jeremy, he got incredibly drunk and attempted to leave the wedding at an inappropriate time. His wife tried to stop him and climbed up on his back to try to do so. The drunken Jeremy flung his wife off of his back, at which point she became injured. When Jeremy later learned he had injured his wife, he was devastated. But the drunken moment he regrets most came later. 
While the implant has given him help with his cravings, it didn't make the issue of his alcoholism go away immediately. According to Jeremy, he relapsed twice after receiving the implant. The first of these led to a drunken moment he regrets more than any other. He claims he and his wife had gotten into an argument about their finances, which prompted the actor to get in his car and drive to the liquor store. There, he slammed a half a pint of vodka before going on a joyride, and he was pulled over. Jeremy claims a DUI arrest was his rock bottom. According to Jeremy, his DUI arrest remains the most embarrassing thing that's happened to him. He says he regrets it because he was putting so many random people's lives at risk. And though the actor has had another small relapse since, he's essentially become a changed man since his DUI arrest. Today, he's doing better for himself than he arguably ever has. This comes in spite of the fact that he's no longer a big success in the acting world. There's been some talk about rebooting Growing Pains in recent years, and it seems Jeremy is willing to reprise the role of Ben Seaver should he be asked to. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you a fan of Growing Pains? Who was your favorite character? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Factsverse as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Factsverse, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Factsverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.